Hello, and welcome to my channel, it's Thias. Today we're going to be looking at the, uh, the Billboards mod created by myself and Nate. And we're going to be going through how to retexture the billboards and signs as shown in the video on screen. And we'll be running through how to do this with Photoshop. We'll be setting up the mods, mod structure, image paths and things like that in order to create your own versions of these signs. This mod was aimed at uh, server owners in order to allow them to make their own versions of billboards rather than paying for repacks and all that shady stuff. So, first thing we're going to need to do is uh, get access to the billboards mod. You'll find a link to this in the description below. And this is what you'll be presented with. Just click on subscribe. That'll uh, download in the background, uh, as you can see here. Uh, I'm going to stop that because I already have this loaded. You'll also find in the description uh, the retexture GitHub link. So if you click on that, it'll take you to our GitHub where we provided a base mod setup and all the image files and the Photoshop documents you need in order to create your own. In order to get these files, click on the green code at the top, download zip. Let that download away. And if you open up a downloads folder, we're gonna extract this into a folder like so and the mod folder is inside the main folder called billboards retexture so we're going to need to fire up our tools and you're going to need to make sure your p drive is mounted you can click on tools if it doesn't say dismount uh, p drive drive p then click that in order to mount the drive so we're going to need to copy this folder into our p drive like so and if you take a look inside here we have a config cpp brief on this uh, this is the name of our mod this is the dependency that's required which is the billboards mod and here we have examples of how you would create your own uh, you can change these you can add additional ones uh, but we'll jump into that in a moment in the data folder each model has a paa a png and a Photoshop document associated with it and we are going to look at retexturing two of these so we'll go for the rotate in sign first and if we open up the Photoshop document we will be presented with a base file in order that we can use that then to create our own versions and the way it's set up there's three layers an upper mask a lower left mask and a lower right mask. Uh, these will be different in different files. This is set up this way because it's three faces and the other ones we're going to change. The background folder, you don't need to worry about nothing in the background will be displayed. So things we're going to need first are some images. So let's find some of these. Uh, let's find something daisy related. So first we'll use this one. We're going to drag this in. And we're going to resize it holding the alt key to keep the proportions and we need to cover the area in which we want to display so in this case we'll use the top one so we know that that's covered we'll make sure that's applied now if we control click on the thumbnail for the upper mask which is behind our texture it'll create a selection box and on our image texture we can now create a layer mask and that'll hide anything which is outside of the upper mask that we clicked. Uh, if we want to move our image around, we need to make sure that we unlink our image to our mask. This box here is the mask. Anything in white will be displayed. Anything in black will not be displayed. If we were to leave that link in and we wanted to make sure our image was a bit more centered and we moved it, it'll move the entire thing, including the mask. So I'll control Z that to undo. I'll unlink it select our image and now we can move that around within that masked area that's center enough that's good for us let's get another image we'll go for this one and again we need it to cover the space behind in this instance we're going to be using the lower left mask so we'll just resize that like so double click to apply it control click the lower left mask thumbnail apply a layer mask unlink Make sure we've got our image uh, selected and now we can move that around. We can control T to resize it, holding the Alt key to keep the proportions. 
Uh, that looks centered enough. That's good for us. Uh, one more image. Uh, we'll use this one here. So same again. Alt, Control T to resize. Hold Alt to keep the proportions. Double click to apply. Control click the mask applied to us. In this case, the lower right mask. Get our selection and apply a layer mask to our texture. I'm going to unlink it and just sort of resize it a bit, make it look a bit better. Uh, that looks good enough. And that's our file created. One thing I normally do is I would add these three by hold, clicking the bottom one, hold shift, click the top one, click this folder, and it's going to add them all into one folder. So I'd call out retexture one. This is handy if you're going to do multiple versions of this, then you can keep uh, retexture one layers in one folder, retexture two in another folder. And by saving the Photoshop document, you have a non destructive version, so you can always come back, edit it, and change it how you need to rather than just flattening the image, saving one file, and then having to do a bunch of other stuff to come back in to edit it afterwards. So we're going to save this as a PNG. This is a 4K file, so it's pretty big. Um, the version of Photoshop I'm using requires me to save a copy in order to get a PNG. Some versions you can just save as. So we'll rename this uh, faces underscore test one underscore co PNG. And we're going to go for the smallest file size possible. It'll take a little longer to save, but it's a 4K image. So we want to make sure that uh, we keep file sizes down. While that is saving, we're going to go back to our uh, P drive into our billboard texture folder and we'll do another one. Uh, in this case, we'll do the LED sign and the standing one. The difference with this being is there's an RV mat that is required, a materials files that's required in order to get the glow in effect that um, is a feature on this particular sign. So we'll open up, put the PSD for it. This time, there's, it's a double-sided billboard, so there's two layer masks, right mask, left mask. So we'll grab a couple of images to apply to that. Uh, go back to my screenshots. Uh, did, 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 let's have a look, see what we got, yeah. Let's go for this one. And we need to resize it again. Hold Alt key to keep the proportions. That's covering everything. Control click our left mask, apply a layer unlink it, click the image thumbnail, and now we can move that around as we see fit. And repeat the process for the other face. So we're going to resize it, drop it over, control click the right mask this time to get our selection, apply a layer mask, and link the image. Make sure our texture thumbnail is selected, and now we can move that into position. Again, I'm going to save as, in this case, save a copy, a PNG, and we'll rename that posters test to underscore co png. This is a 2K image, so it's going to be a bit quicker to uh, to save when we save it as the lowest possible. What we need to do now is convert these files to PAAs. So we're going to go back to our P drive into our texture folder, and we did the Rotating sign, that's our PNG. We're going to convert that to a PAA. Get rid of that because we don't need it. Uh, if you've set it up how I have in my previous videos, uh, check the card at the top for a link to the modding tutorial series I've created. Um, I can double click on the PAA and it'll open up text view for me. If you don't have that option, you can go to your tools, click on the text view button and it'll open that up for you. I'm going to drag in our test one image and we're going to save that as a PAA, not a PNG. We'll let that go through and we also need to do the same thing for our LED signs. We were in stand in. There's our file that's still saving. Okay, we'll drag that in there. File, save as, and change that to a PAA job done. So these are the images that we'll need to point to in our config. So if we go back to our config, we're going to be using the rotating sign. 
like I said, this is a example version, so we can change this. I'm going to give it a different class name. I'm going to call it BZ Rotating Sign Test 1. Um, we need the, the image path to that file, so we go into our Rotating Signs folder. I'm going to just click on the file name so I can rename it, select it all, copy, and then in my address bar, put a backslash, paste it in. We only need to copy up to the the very first backslash we don't need the drive letter that'll create a pathing issue if we can include the drive letter that's why you should always uh, have your mod folder inside a p drive when you're making mods if we had another image um, to make another sign then we could copy this paste it underneath create a different class name point to a different image and that would create a new version of it so we had the led sign also so let's go into our led sign folder standing uh, same process again uh, I put an extra backslash in there so I'll delete that copy the file name in my address bar backslash paste and up to the first backslash we're going to scroll down and we have our LED stand here so I'm going to rename this class to test2 we're going to put our image path in the image in the hidden selection textures uh, line but we also need to change our rv mat this is where the glow in is applied during the night so if we look at our poster rv mat scroll right to the bottom we need to paste our texture here also and we'll say this as poster underscore test to dot rv mat and we need to then link to the path. Uh, so we called it test2. So we'll just copy that from there and paste it on the end. So this is a new class now called LED stand test2. If we wanted to do another one, the same principle applies. We'll copy this line, paste it underneath, give it a different class name, point to our different image and we would also need to make a new RV mat and rename that but we're not going to do that for now uh, so we can now save our config cpp and that is good to go we need to now pack this into a pbo i use a pbo project and if you want to learn how to set that up you can check out my modding tutorial series we're going to choose an output folder and I have mine in a PBO folder in my P drive. And if you have a server mod, you can add it to that. But um, for the purposes of this, uh, I created a folder called at billboards underscore retexture. So I'll select that. My source folder is going to be the folder in my P drive. Select that. And I'm going to click crunch. And this is going to pack the mod for us. So we'll just let that go through. So that's packed. We didn't get any errors. If you have an error, you'll get a pop-up window and you'll uh, likely have a, a message in here saying a missing file. Um, if it's a missing file, then double check your path you've set in the config CPP. If it's in the RV map, check that you've got the right path in there. So that's all packed. Now if we go to my PBO folder and look in here, we have an add-ons folder with the PBO showing that it's been signed and we have a key in here this is important if you want to load it onto a live server you'll need to copy your key into the keys folder in your root directory of your server files now what we need to do is test this uh, i've set up a local server local daisy server again i've got a tutorial on this if you want to look at that check out the daisy, daisy modern tutorial section um, so i'm also going to need the billboards mod in there um, so I can drag the retexture folder into my server folder and I've already got the billboards mod in there but you would need to open up a launcher and as if you've downloaded the mod off Steam if you go into mods you should see it listed underneath here it won't show for me because I've got a local version but where it's listed right click open folder click on I understand and then you would copy this at folder, in this case it would be at billboards, into your DAISY server. You'd also need to make sure that your batch file is correct. 
So I'm going to edit that and you would need to add the dependency, in this case, the billboards mod and the mod you just created billboards retexture. I've gone through this before, so I'm not going to go through that again. So we're going to run the batch file. That's going to load up the local server, similar to what you would see in CF tools. If, uh, if you had a dedicated server that's loaded, um, we would need to have the mods loaded in the launcher as well. Um, you can search for them in the top and put a checkbox in them or for the mod you just created, you would need to go to add a local mod, go to the PBO folder location, click it, select folder, and it'll ask you if you want to load the mod down here, select yes. I'm going to go to my servers, refresh, and I'm going to join. This is going to take a few minutes to, uh, to load up, so uh, I will likely skip ahead. Probably a good time to tell you to subscribe because, you know, why not? Okay, so here we are in game. I'm going to load up my tools. Go to my object spawner, and I'm going to reload that. I'm going to make sure that unsafe object is on because it's a static object. I'm going to search for BZ, and we look in at sign test one. So I'm going to spawn that there. And then we also need the LED test two. Spawn that there. Exit the tools, and as you can see, our Images are nicely displayed. We've got a double-sided one here. And just to check that our RV mat is working, we're going to set it to nighttime. And there we go. As you can see, it's uh, illuminated as it should be. That's pretty much all you need to know. It's the same principle that will apply to the different billboards. Um, the LED ones are being the, the only difference. Make sure you subscribe and all that stuff. Hope you enjoy the mod. If you need any assistance, there's links to my Discord in the description and on the mod page. Um, I hope you wanna create some good stuff for this. Feel free to share your creations in my Discord. And uh, thanks very much for subscribing. Have fun, peace out, boom.